Hello YouTube, Beanie from the bedroom here, or should I say, AKA Guitar Junkie. <clears throat> my buddy from Long Island, Jammin' Joe Spoto, he was my bass player in my band, my second bass player in my Long Island band, Black and Blue. Um, he called me up today, he saw my video from the other day me imitating my wife and uh, he said you got it right guitar junkie that's what you should call yourself so I was thinking about changing my channel name from Beanie 60 or Bean Olsen to guitar junkie I don't know what do you think and and can I change it can I change Beanie 60 to guitar junkie and keep all my my inventory of videos I don't know let me know if you won't even bother uh, I don't get too many comments, except for <laughs> basically almost like the same same two people, two to four mostly. But uh, I'm not complaining. No, not at all. I appreciate the love. Um, so, what we have here is the Holly Benton. Sorry, you got to put me binoculars on so I could read it and get this correct. Holly Benton Fusion, T, H, H, Roasted, F, B, B Stock, you heard it, $255.29. Now, I don't know if I said this. I didn't mention a price when I did the um, unboxing. No, not unboxing. B Stock Wednesday video. And I have a hard time remembering. You know what I did this morning? I poured my orange juice in my cereal. Yeah, I got heartburn right away. Stupid thing to do. Huh? I don't know. What was I saying? Lovely guitar. Focus. Um, I don't know. But, um, I've, B-Stock, right. That's right, I heard it. Don't be yelling at me. Voices in my head get loud sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so... B stock Wednesday. I showed this one and I showed the one behind me. Uh, Reckenbacher. See, I said that correctly. I think, and um, I don't know if I mentioned it. No, I probably didn't because I didn't mention the price. But I bought this two fifty five, right? B stock, and um, it's the only one that I saw. And then, sure enough. Two days later. Oh, by the way, I bought this on last Friday. I did use my debit card. I've asked a boatload of questions. Did anyone use a debit card? Not a credit card. Not PayPal. The debit card. I've used my credit card before in the past. No issues. This time I used my debit card. My bank refused it. I got a notice from them. Tolman's is them. I called my bank. I said, yes, I know it's it's a place in Germany. I know the dollar amount. Put it through. <clears throat> Gave the okay. And uh, still, I, like I said, I placed the order on, on Friday and I got these two on Wednesday. Um, and then, just a day or two later, I don't remember, one day bleeds into the other in my mind. Um, I went on there looking again. Because I'm looking for I'm looking for a specific Telecaster. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that Holly Benton is going to make... Do, does anyone remember the um, uh, Fender <clears throat> Telecaster Custom 70s where it had a four bolt neck, it had two oversized humbuckers, two volume controls, two tone controls, three-way toggle up here, pick guard, you know, or the guys in England call it scratch plate. You know, the scratch plate. It's a pick guard. But, um, might I digress for that one moment. The, um, I was looking and I saw they had this one for 226 in the B stock. And they had the natural one that looks like, um, uh, what's his name? Guthrie, Guthrie Govan, like, like his, that kind of natural. Tiger Maple or Flame Maple for 226 So you just never know, you know, keep an eye out. 
uh, I, I kind of feel like ripped because I paid 255 and then I see the same exact one saying 226 however um, flame maple top veneer pretty thick it's got before I get fingerprints all over it whoop, I was tethered there for a moment that's the body Your basic tone volume with a splitter, three-way toggle. My complaint with the three-way toggle is when I'm playing, because I've, I've always been a Strat guy. This is too far away to switch it. First of all, the arm is in there like a fence saying, do not enter, not allowed, denied. So that's a hassle. Then it's too close to the volume. Now, I appreciate the volume and tone knob, the distance between those. And I know that this was once straight, and then on the older model, the newer model, it's on an angle. But move it over just a little bit more, Holly Benton, so that I can get to it. So that I'm not dealing with that, and I'm not dealing with that, you know, kind of thing. That's, that's my complaint. That's my beef. Um, you got a Wilkinson Bridge here. Um, adjustable saddles, but it's the kind where you have to loosen it and slide them. So you would have to detune the string, loosen it and play a guessing game. Put it where you think it is, tune it back up again and hope that the intonation is, is correct. That's the only time you, you need it. Now um, this was shipped to me. All the strings were in tune except for the low E. The low E was a step away from B and E flat. So I tuned it up to an E and all was well. Um, the bridge is not a floater. This is it, really, as far as if it, you know, going back and forth, no. That's it. It's a dive. It's a dive monster. Dive bomb, whatever you want to call it. You can only dive with the, it's like an Eddie Van Halen guitar. Um, and I was looking at it, if I could set it up to make it a, flo a floater, but you can't. So, you deal with it. I put the strap back on. I'm not done showing it off yet. See? You fool. Stop yelling at me. All right. So, matching headstock, flame maple, to match the body. Beautiful. Um, the logo on there is like raised, like like silver raised. Um, it looks really cool. It looks professional. They're really coming up, you know, in the world. Um, baked flame maple neck and fingerboard now i don't know if you could see but the flames are going through i could see it on here it's hard i tried to switch the light same thing with the back if you could see the flame on the headstock it's hard to tell but it goes right down the neck i think if i put oil if i oil this with that gun stock oil it would really pop um and show show up a lot better. Satin finish, front and back. Um, fingerboard uh, is a bit dry. It needs some oil, for sure, dude. For sure, mom. For sure, dude. And um, the best part: stainless steel frets. Yup, you heard it. Twenty-two stainless steel frets. Now, with the stainless steel frets. You get these lovely locking tuners. And I have to say, these locking tuners are smooth. The ones on the other guitar I got from Tom is a Larry Carlton guitar with locking tuners. Smooth. They both hold a tune. Now, all the locking tuners that I bought from Amazon, and grant, granted, I was cheap, and I they were between 19 and $24 and I think the most I paid was $28 for a set for the LP um, and uh, the SG so I didn't go more than $28 $38 for a set and they're not as smooth and believe it or not they really don't hold the tune as well as I would think that they they should but you do have a graphite nut on here, Graf, graphite they call it, um, 
I didn't put a drop of oil. Even when I use a graphite nut, I still put a drop of oil under each string. I haven't done that yet either because these are original strings. The Adario, by the way, no cheapo. The Adario, it's hard to tell, but no, you can't see that way. They are supposed to be the Adario colored strings. I did see them somewhere. Oh, there we go. I saw them on the back. You can see that they are colored. I had to use a flashlight to look in there, but you might not see it, but I know they're there. Trust me, take my word for it. Roller trees. Um, so that's the back. Four bolt, no plate. It's got a thin tapered where the body goes to the neck. Kind of leans in a little bit. And you've got this, this great looking arch here. Um, and an arch on the back. you got to because it's black, you got to see it. It really doesn't. It look. It's as far as anything else. It looks not really nice, but this cut is deep enough where you don't need it. But let me tell you, just to have that, you know, that look, because you don't see that on telecasts, it's sweet. Along with the belly cut. So you've got this contoured for your belly, which I love because again, an old Strat guy, I. I play it up high, I have it into my chest. A lot of times I'm like this. Um, I wish they contoured the body like a strap. I wish they did the top because when I'm playing and my arm's resting here and I pick it up, I get this red line. A lot of times I'll just use a sleeve. Um, for one, um, I used to do auto glass. We used to wear these sleeves that would protect your forearm from the glass. And I would put one of those on when I'm playing an LP or now, like a telly, um, if it'll irritate me. But um, everything else on this guitar is amazing. Now, with everything that I just mentioned, and uh, I don't remember what I said, everything, but I, I'm, I'm sure I covered it all, uh, and even the little felt on the buttons. I mean, that's little stuff like that goes a long way. I'll put this guitar up against any Fender Squire, Telecaster, any Gibson um, standard or, um, or Epiphone, I'll put this against a Jackson, an Ibanez, a Charvel, a um, Schecter. Did I say Schecter? I don't remember. Um, because for $255, now, you can't beat it. I think these brand new are around the 280 mark. Think. I really don't remember because then again like I said I always look at B stock smooth rounded frets all the way down they don't get sharp down here like some guitars do um, it's just amazing that again because uh, uh, you know I'm still complaining that I pay 255 when I see that they're 226 uh, for the other two that are on there but you know roll with it where can you find a guitar of this quality this craftsmanship for that dollar, for that dollar now. You can't, you can't touch it anywhere. And um, I know you're probably gonna wanna hear it. Now, the only thing I could say is that I think the pickups are slightly microphonic. We'll find out together, won't we? Let me see here. I can't, I gotta use a pick, sorry. Extra, I don't know if there's five springs on this sucker or not, but this bridge is super super hard for me to push down. That's about it. If I want to do it, I'd have to grab the body like you see me sometimes doing on my like,
there, Joe's photo. Jamming Joe. We used to play that little bit of uh, instrumental sometimes. <clears throat> um, so that's it clean. Let's go with splitting the pickups. Once I split the pickup, I know the volume's just gonna drop. Yeah, see? first let's start small and work our way up <laughs> I can't unless I really like I said hold a guitar and like a like closing a pair of pliers so I guess it's not used to plus I didn't really stretch the strings out I didn't I'm afraid I'm gonna pull them off the guitar and I don't go like going down like I see people doing it because I'm afraid I'm gonna slice my finger open but yeah I know you probably never happened but that's what's in my head <laughs> Put a little thick Hendrix fuzz on here. <laughs> with the fuzz when you're in the 12th position that's where the the neck pickup really shines on almost any guitar <laughs> sorry so sorry d string is out again Oh, you know one other thing I forgot to mention. So the whole guitar was in tune except for the low E, but the the uh, pegs and the this whatever you want to call these little to lock the tune the strings in were loose. They're wrapped about one and a half turns, which I don't know why. It should just be you you put it in, you pull it. You lock it and you snip it, but it's about one and a half turns on each key. Um, I just did tighten that up just a little bit more um, just now. One of them was loose. I don't know which one it was, if it was the D string or the A string, but um, so where are we going? Let's give it just some really nasty. <laughs> Remember that there, Jamin' Joe's photo? Yep, Radio Man. 
biggest hit with my band. Um, and that's starting the solo with the tremolo. That's how it's done. That's the only way it's supposed to be done. But in any case, so yeah, it's, you know, let's find out, like I said, about the... Hello? Hello? Very faint. Hello? No. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody in there? Yeah. This is I suspected. Slightly, ever so slightly microphonic. Now, um, not almost, almost like the LP, the the black LP that I had with the Floyd, Holly Benton, almost that small, that minute in microphonic. Now the uh, Tesla pickups that came in the other Holly Benton, the um, the 550 Deluxe Two, those not microphonic. Holly Benton should put those in every guitar because they're awesome. So I think I covered everything on this. I'm going to put the pick down because I think I'm still going to play it some more. And um, just a fine, fine, great instrument. And um, I think I'm going to be playing this one a lot. So uh, I think I'm going to be picking this one up, the 550 Deluxe 2 and uh, Larry Carlton, and then my telly, my uh, Prince telly. Those are right now my four favorite. So um, these are gonna be my go-to. And again, B-Stock, you guitar junkies. Yeah, what should I do? Should I stick with that name? AKA, Beanie from the Bedroom, AKA Guitar Junkie? Because it's true. Um, Let's, let's leave it at that, and uh, have a good day and a better tomorrow. And you think this is going to turn off? I should just start heading towards the on and off switch right now, like that. <laughs>